Hi, in this video, we will look at five different ways that you can clean up your storage space on your Chromebook. So it's always been the case that most Chromebooks, nowadays the later Chromebooks, the Chromebook I'm using here has got 256 gigabyte of storage, so that's quite good. But a lot of Chromebooks, certainly the earlier Chromebooks, didn't have much storage space. And the reason for that was that the Chromebook is mainly a cloud computer, which is most computers are going that way anyway, because you can do most things in the cloud virtually anything in the cloud nowadays so you don't really need local storage that being said though you do need storage space for things like android apps or any documents that you want to have saved locally on your computer and also if you're going to install linux on your on your chromebook you'll need storage space for that and then any of the apps that you install inside linux that also takes up storage space so over the years yes it's true many years ago when the chromebooks first come out when i was first using them back in 2010 it was true that they didn't need much storage space because they, you didn't really need them. You didn't have Android apps and you didn't have Linux apps, but you do have that now. So you may have a situation where you're running low on storage space, especially if you don't have much storage space on your Chromebook. So I'm going to show you a few ways of how you can look at what your storage space is being used for and how to clean that up as well. So the first thing to think about is that how many users are using your Chromebook. If you're the only person using your Chromebook, that's absolutely fine. But if there's someone else who also uses your Chromebook, so your Chromebook shared, I'm not talking about sharing the same Google account now, I'm talking about you have your Google account to sign in and they have their Google account to sign in. If there's two accounts, that also will massively increase the storage space used. So that's something you need to be careful about and make sure that the other person who's using your Chromebook is aware that you don't really want too much storage space being used locally because you should be keeping the storage space locally just essentially for your Android apps and for your Linux apps. Everything else you should try and save in the cloud and not locally. Okay, so the thing to do is to check on your storage. There's two ways to do it. You can go to the file manager like that and then up there, click on the three dots and you've got here, as you can see, 197 gigabyte available. Click on that, that will take you to your storage settings, or you can get to them through your settings down here. Click on the bottom right of your desktop, then click on settings. And then from there, if you click on system preferences, and at the top there, you can see storage management. So click on storage management, and you've got here my files. So my files is anything in your downloads folder, Browsing data is anything when you've been using the browser, data stored to make it faster when you use the browser again in the future. For example, a website. So if you visit a website, it will cache a lot of the information onto your computer. So when you next use that website, it doesn't have to take so many server responses to their server to get the data. So a lot of it's stored locally. So that's one thing to bear in mind as well, because that can creep up. This is quite a new install of um, Chrome OS on this Chromebook because I always do new installs depending on the videos I have to do but you will most likely not do new installs you've most likely set up your Chromebook and you very rarely had to do a power wash so you could be looking at a lot bigger files here like 68 megabyte I'm sure it's much higher your browsing data I'm sure that'll be much higher as well so again with apps so apps is Android apps now bear in mind with apps they are synced with your Google account so if you use your Google account on other computers as well or on your phone and you're downloading apps, they're also going to be on your Chromebook. But there we've got your apps there and we'll look at this in a bit. And here we've got offline files. Now offline files are files that you can use on your Chromebook without an internet connection. There may be a reason why you want to do that. But if you don't do that, you should also look at offline files now to clean that up. And then you've got Linux storage. And Linux storage is if you install Linux on your Chromebook. You can see I've installed 10 gigabyte to Linux storage. That's the minimum I, should, I would say you should have um, most likely higher, certainly if you use Linux quite a lot. But bearing in mind that's slightly different than Linux storage, but we'll come to that in a second. And then we've got system. Again, you can't do much about that. That's the operating system. Okay, so the first thing we look at is my files. 
So if you click on my files there, and as you can see, it takes you straight to here. Now my files is then, it's got downloads here, and you've got Linux files here, and you've got play files as well. Okay, so bearing in mind that here I don't have much on my downloads folder, but if you've been using your Chromebook for quite a while, you may have quite a lot in your downloads folder. So that's one way you can clean up. You can go for your downloads, really boring, cleaning up files that you don't need. You can go for your downloads folder and delete files that you no longer use or upload them to your Google Drive or another cloud service and then delete them from your local downloads folder. So that will help increase your storage space. So the next thing to look at is browsing data. Now browsing data, like I says, is when you use your browser, it, cookies are always added and there could be lots of other things added as well, depending on the websites that you go to. But if you click on browsing data here, as you can see, it gives you the option of delete browsing data. And this is fine to do. I would do this regularly because that could massively creep up in size. But do bear in mind when you do it, if you use, I don't know, say Facebook on a regular basis, it's gonna be really fast because it's gonna be cached so much on your system. But all that caching is using your local storage. So bear in mind when you do this, websites that you go to it may be a bit slow, but again, it will start caching the data again. So it's something you might have to do on a regular basis, but you need to be careful on what you're choosing here. So we've got the basic option, time range last hour. If you are really running low on storage, you'd want to do all time, okay? And then from here, browsing history. So delete history from all sync devices. Now, this is quite important because you might also have, I don't know, another computer, Windows, God forbid you if you do use Windows, or an Apple Mac you might have, for example. And then with that, you might not want to delete the browsing data because the browsing data is linked to your Google account. So if you do it on your Chromebook, then that browsing data is also going to be taken off any other device. So if you don't want that to happen, just untick that and then that will not do anything to any other um, devices where you log in using your Google account. And then the next options, for example here, cookies and other site data, signs you out of most sites, you'll, you'll stay signed into your Google account so that your sync data can be deleted. Now this, again, you've got to use with caution because if you're anything like me, an amount of passwords you have to remember and then different websites have different password rules. If you do that, Bear in mind, all the websites that you normally go to, if you just have them set up so you don't have to log in every time because you've done it once and that's it, you're gonna to have to remember those passwords. So make sure you've got those passwords and the usernames before choosing that option as well. Okay, so you may want to untick that as well if you're not happy about doing that. But then the cached images and files, this is the big one, and this is what will take up most of the space. And it will free up, and like I said, bear in mind, I've hardly used this Chromebook, and it's a fresh install. There's already 472 megabytes um, what could be done, and some sites may load more slowly, like I said, of course. The cached images and files, that's the one I would do, because you visit so you can visit so many different websites and all of those websites are trying to be as fast as possible for the user and also for Google because Google doesn't like slow websites. So if people want to appear at the top of Google, they have to make sure their website performs really well. And one of the ways they do that is they've got a cache system and it will cache the data to your account, to your computer. So every time you log in, for example, the Facebook logo will cache that. Oh, these images will cache that. So it's all there. So all that information is also being stored on your computer. Yes, it will make the website faster, but it's using data from storing data on your computer. So that's the one I would definitely do there. You may not want to do the browsing history if we just think devices, but the bottom one is the one I would choose. And then if you go to advanced from here, it gives you slightly more information here. So browsing history, you've got download history, 
cookies from eight sites, but you'll be you'll stay signed into your Google account. Again, that's the one you might not want to choose. You've got the cached images. None of these here for me have got any because it's a fresh install, but site settings, you might want to look at that. But again, be careful about that because if you've used, been using a website quite a lot and you've uh, you've changed it a lot to suit how you want to use that website, if you delete those site settings, all of that's going to be gone and you're going to have to start again from scratch. So use it with caution. That's the only thing I would say. But that's a big way. But like I said, definitely cast images and files are the way to go. Just bear in mind, it will slow down the websites that you visit regularly, but it will also get rid of all of the files that websites you've gone to just a few times and I've never used. And there's loads of data stored on your computer. The next one is apps. And again, this is quite a big one, 2.7 gigabytes. And I will almost be, I'd be shocked if there's not apps in here that you no longer use. I know there'd be apps in here I no longer use. So it's a really good idea to check these apps. And you essentially just go down a list and look at all of the apps that you've got installed and think, do I really need to use that? Like ClipChamp, ClipChamp for example, I used to use that. And I think I did that for, to show, do a video on how to use ClipChamp, but I don't use ClipChamp anymore. So I should have removed that ages ago. All of this is taking up information because every time, even if you do a fresh install of your Chromebooks, you do a power wash of your Chromebook because you just, there's just things that it's, it's going a bit wrong or you just think it's the best thing to do. If you do a power wash, as soon as you log in, if you've got the sync settings, then all of your Android apps are going to download to your Chromebook anyway. So they'll all be back there again. So you do need to go through here regularly and look at apps that you might not use and get rid of them. Okay. And that will help with storage space. Offline files, um, like I says, this is essentially if you click on there, you can clean up storage space and it, you'll then clean up any of the offline files that you have access to. So they're no longer available. Some some files will still be available when, even when you do clear that up and you can choose, you can learn more. So clean up storage space. It's got here the learn more option there, which you can do, but it's not a lot of space, but that if you've got a lot of offline files that you use and you no longer need that because you've got regular access to the internet and you don't really use that anymore, that's an option you could look at as well. So the next one is Linux storage. And like I said, this is slightly different. We we'll click on Linux storage and we've got the disk size. Now this is where it, 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 we, with Linux storage, it's different to the rest because you create the container when you install Linux. So for example, I've installed Linux and I've gave it a container size of 10 gigabytes. Now it might only be using five gigabytes but that doesn't mean that that other five gigabyte is available to you because the container is 10 gigabytes. So it's the container size. It doesn't matter if you're using Linux and you've got pro loads of programs in Linux and you've got loads of files in Linux and you store them files locally, all of that. It doesn't matter if you decide to go into your Linux um, apps and go, right, I don't use that anymore. I'm going to delete that. 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 Sure, it will give you more space for your Linux container, which is currently 10 gigabyte, but it won't reduce the amount of space that you're using your Chromebook because it's the container. So the only way you can do that here is to change the Linux container size. Like I says, it suggests here seven gigabyte I always never got under 10 gigabyte, but if you've got a 40 gigabyte Linux container and you're using a lot of that space, what I would do is go in, delete a lot of the apps you no longer use. Like I says, that won't automatically change that. But once you've deleted them and you're comfortable that there's not much Linux space being used, then you can go into there and lower that down. It won't let you lower it more than what it's allowed anyway. So if it's saying to you that you can't have your Linux under, say you've got a 30 gigabyte Linux container and it won't let you reduce it any lower than 25 gigabyte, that's because you it's using 25 gigabyte. If it allowed you to do it, it would be deleting loads of your programs that would cause issues. So you need to delete your programs first, your Linux programs, and then go back in and you should see then that you've got more space. If you don't see that, 
restart your Chromebook, and then you should see that that's available. So they're the ways to um, look at reducing your storage space. But there is one more also you should check, obviously, and that's if you open up your file manager here, just make sure your bin, because a lot of information will just go to your bin, and it does say files in the bin uh, for more than 30 days will be automatically deleted but you might have loads of files in there. If you do, obviously you can say I don't, just do empty bin now. And again, that will free up your storage space. So I hope this video helped in how you can clean up your storage space on your Chromebook. If it did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.